Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will go through another interview question. That is, explain the types of bar and column charts you have used in Power BI with use case. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. So let's get started. In Power BI, this is the data set which I have used. I have created this on my own by using the enter data command. So if you go to enter data, you have to enter the table name. So here my table name is product and the columns I have used is product ID, division, department, class, sales and profit. And you can see the values here. I have two divisions, apparel and beauty. I have two departments which are men and women. So I have two measures here that is sales and profit. So let me go to my Power BI reports and here is the bar chart which I have prepared. So to prepare a simple bar chart, we don't have any option here because if I go here is a stacked bar chart. If I go to this, then it's a clustered bar chart. There is nothing called a simple bar chart. But we can utilize both the stacked and clustered bar charts to prepare a simple bar chart. So a bar chart can be used to see the difference between measure values across different categories and dimensions. Here the division or category which I am having is beauty and apparel. The measure which I am using here is profit. So you can see there is an axis field and there is a value field here. Let's go to column chart. The column chart also basically serves the same purpose like comparison between measures and various dimensions. Here also we have a measure that is profit and the axis has division as the category. Same like bar chart we have stacked column chart and sorry uh, here I have this as clustered bar chart back to report so what's the difference between these two for that i have used a different data set that i'll show you now see the data set which i have used to show this difference is the profit you can see the profit has negative values so for apparel if you see it has 100 500 and minus thousand so the overall profit for apparel category is negative so if i go to my bar chart you can see the apparel is coming as negative value here similarly if i see for column chart the alignment is downwards so you can see the column chart is more visually appealing when i have negative values in my data set so this is when we can use a column chart otherwise they both can be used almost in a similar manner. So I talked about clustered bar chart and stacked bar charts. So what's the difference between them? So let me go to my other page and you can see here is my clustered bar chart. A clustered bar chart is normally used if I want to compare the measure values for the categories and their subcategories as well. Here my division is beauty but I want to see differently how the men and women departments have performed. So here I can see it very nicely. This is my column chart and this is my bar chart. Now for stacked, the stacked one is mainly used if we want to compare the totals that is a maximum total and also we want to see the subcategory values. You can see here, like if I want to see which of the division is performing very nicely. So it is here available that beauty is performing much better than apparel in total. I mean, the same couldn't be very nicely caught from this chart. You can see there, we can see the subcategories, but not the total. And also we can see the different divisions of subcategories as well. 
so if we want to see the subcategories along with the totals the stacked chart is the best option we have another option that is 100% stacked charts you can see here that is 100% stacked bar chart and 100% stacked column chart so this is mainly used if you want to compare the percentages of my subcategories that is i want the percent contribution of each subcategory this doesn't show me the actual value my stack chart was showing me the actual measure value but this is just a percentage comparison if we, uh, our business requirement is that so better to use 100% stack chart instead of stack charts thank you for watching and please tune to my channel